when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God. And those who hear it will come to life, just as the Father is himself the source of life. In the same way, he has made his Son to be the source of life. And he has given the Son the right to judge because he is the Son of Man. Do not be surprised at this. The time is coming when all the dead will hear his voice and come out of their graves. Those who have done good will rise and live. And those who have done evil will rise and be condemned. I can do nothing on my own authority. I judge only as God tells me, so my judgment is right. Because I am not trying to do what I want, but only what he who sent me wants. If I testify on my own behalf, what I say is not to be accepted as real proof. But there is someone else who testifies on my behalf. And I know that what he says about me is true. John is the one to whom you sent your messengers. And he spoke on behalf of the truth. It is not that I must have a human witness. I say this only in order that you may be saved. John was like a lamp, burning and shining. And you were willing for a while to enjoy his light. But I have a witness on my behalf, which is even greater than the witness that John gave. What I do, that is the deeds my father gave me to do. These speak on my behalf and show that the father has sent me. And the father who sent me also testifies on my behalf. You have never heard his voice or seen his face. And you do not keep his message in your hearts, for you do not believe in the one whom he sent. You study the scriptures because you think that in them you will find eternal life. And these very scriptures speak about me. Yet you are not willing to come to me in order to have life. I am not looking for human praise. But I know what kind of people you are. And I know that you have no love for God in your hearts. I have come with my father's authority. But you have not received me. When, however, someone comes with his own authority, you will receive him. You like to receive praise from one another. But you do not try to win praise from the one who alone is God. How then can you believe me? Do not think, however, that I am the one who will accuse you to my father. Moses, in whom you have put your hope, is the very one who will accuse you. If you had really believed Moses, you would have believed me. Because he wrote about me. But since you do not believe what he wrote, how can you believe what I say? This is true, because I have not spoken on my own authority. But the Father who sent me has commanded me what I must say and speak. Sent me has commanded me what I must say and speak. And I know that his command brings eternal life. What I say, then, is what the Father has told me to say. I pass judgment on no one. But if I were to do so, my judgment would be true. Because I am not alone in this. The Father who sent me is with me. It is written in your law that when two witnesses agree, what they say is true. I testify on my own behalf, and the Father who sent me also testifies on my behalf. Where is your Father? You know neither me nor my Father. If you knew me, you would know my Father also. Jesus said all this as he taught in the temple. In the... But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Be not ye therefore like unto them, for your father knoweth what things ye have need of before ye ask him. After this matter, therefore, pray ye, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Oh, my father! If it is possible, May this cup be taken from me. Yet not as I will, but as you will. My father. If it 
is not possible for this cup to be taken away unless I drink it. May your will be done. Father, the hour has come. Give glory to your son, so that the son may give glory to you. For you gave him authority over all people, so that he might give eternal life to all those you gave him. And eternal life means to know you, the only true God, and to know Jesus Christ whom you sent. I have shown your glory on earth. I have finished the work you gave me to do. Father, give me glory in your presence now, the same glory I had with you before the world was made. I have made you known to those you gave me out of the world. They belong to you, and you gave them to me. They have obeyed your word, and now they know that everything you gave me comes from you. I gave them the message that you gave me, and they received it. They know that it is true that I came from you, and they believe that you sent me. I pray for them. I do not pray for the world, but for those you gave me, for they belong to you. All I have is yours, and all you have is mine, and my glory is shown through them. And now I am coming to you. I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world. Holy Father, keep them safe by the power of your name. The name you gave me. So that they may be one. Just as you and I are one. While I was with them, I kept them safe by the power of your name, the name you gave me. I protected them. And not one of them was lost, except the man who was bound to be lost, so that the scripture might come true. And now I am coming to you, and I say these things in the world, so that they may have my joy in their hearts in all its fullness. I gave them your message, and the world hated them, because they do not belong to the world, just as I do not belong to the world. I do not ask you to take them out of the world. But I do ask you to keep them safe from the evil one. Just as I do not belong to the world, they do not belong to the world. Dedicate them to yourself by means of the truth. Your word is truth. 